The following is a fan-based discussion. All properties discussed are property of Toei Inc., Bandai, Hasbro, and Subarai Productions. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Toku Tears. This I'm over here now. <laughs> this time we're doing my personal Kamen Rider list. And before you ask, yes, we're recording this right after we did Marcus's. And I'm still a little peeved. So. <laughs> ah! So, unlike Marcus, who went in chronological order, he was too lazy to put all the uh, icons. You can do it! I don't know in chronological order. I'm just going to do them in fucking alphabetical order, apparently, because fuck it. So, he's already put the ones that I haven't seen, and I'm going to move Zio to that, because I haven't, it's not over, and I haven't seen enough of it to really make an opinion on it. We're going to start with Agito. I'm going to give this a solid B. Really? Yeah. I didn't like it as much as, like, Kuga, but if I take out the fact that I pretty much watched it right after Kuga, because I didn't watch it until we reviewed it, really. Yeah. Um, when I just try to look at the show by itself... It wasn't terrible. I love the suits. And I love some of the, just the, how dark it went for a show that isn't technically a dark show. Yeah. Mostly because it's so itchy. Speaking of which, it was good to see him again, Zio, recently. So, yay. Amazon. E. Okay. I really didn't like the show. It was just bearably short. But I did like the idea. It gave us the idea that Comrade could be darker. Rather bloodier because bloodier. it's sort of a lighthearted show outside of that. Yeah, and yeah. I'll always remember the scene of the guy getting his head cut off, but you can see the hand. But yep, and that'll Amazon's absolute trash. This is the emo child of Common Rider. It's being dark for the sake of being dark. Now, don't get me wrong; I enjoy some of the bloody gore action, but it cannot save the, it from the fact that I don't give a shit about anybody on screen. You know what have helped it with his darkness? Hmm. A better filter. That too. That show was that. Also, the un, like the unnecessarily dark high school girls. I think in the first season, they're like just mid laugh, and then they'll if you tell anybody, I'll fucking slit your throat. Yeah, and, and then, then keep, they never show up again. Yeah, and it's just because they got their throat slit. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Blade. The first ten episodes are so unbearably slow. The last like ten episodes are pretty damn good. What about the 20 in the middle? The 20 in the middle are pretty effing boring in my opinion, so average. C tier. Okay. <laughs> I, I mean, you're looking at me and I'm just like, I'll have a lack of reaction. You want me to overreact? I'll react later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, just wondering if you're going to react at all. Eventually. And I believe this is... You haven't is, done anything significant enough. This to, is to black art. I can't yet. tell. That's just black. That's just black. We're going to put him in A. Okay. I feel like that's something that we can all sort of agree on. <laughs> no, Black is absolutely fantastic. Yes, the beginning, like, two-thirds or beginning Pretty half, much. are a bit slow, but when it gets... It's just like Drive. When it gets going, it gets fucking going. It starts to tinge it. And a minute after that. Well, um... <laughs> Door's right there. <laughs> Build. <laughs> the one everyone seems to be in hot contention over. It's so overrated. What did I give it? Like Originally, it? you gave it a C? Wait, I think we put it in, like, E. We did. No, we put it in no. Oh, that's right. From my personal bias, I'm going to D. I enjoy the suits. I enjoy a majority of the characters. I thought the villain had a lot of potential. That was not done very well. Execution was... But, like, the last 15-ish episodes... It was a downward spiral. And to argue against a, somebody on one of our comments when we did the actual Kamen Rider list, mm. yes, they're not bringing the characters back from the dead per se. It's a, an entirely simple world where they don't get become monsters and don't die in the first place. However, from the point of view of the audience, you have taken back that moment of, holy shit, you've raised the stakes. This is, this is death for people, for reoccurring characters. And you completely reversed that. It's not about... It's about the stakes that you raise and then you backpedal so hard. But I still enjoyed the show. I still enjoyed a number of comedic bits. Some went too far, I will give you that. But I still think overall this is a eh, show that peop a lot of people would enjoy. Depending on who you are, not him. <laughs> no. 
Decade. This is another one where I am torn. But I'm going with E. Mainly because the only villain of the show, we still don't know why the fuck he's a villain of the show. Yeah, he wasn't even a final villain. That just turned to be Decade. Yeah. <laughs> and everything that we love about Decade as a character, as Tsukasa, did not come until he appeared in other people's shows as a different character where he was confident and just all around dickish about it, a.k.a. Marcus. Pretty much, he's the best thing. I love it whenever he shows up as Zio because that happens every once in a while. Yeah. Denno. I'm going to stick with D. It's too much comedy, and it's not my type of comedy. And I really don't like the suits. I didn't really like the train aspect, and I don't really like some of the characters. But I still understand and appreciate what they were going for, a very comedic show. And don't get me wrong, that first bit where he's got a bicycle in the tree, and the, and the guy's like... It's hey. so good. Where he's like, how the fuck did you get there? I still laugh every time. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'll give it that. There are some great jokes that land right on the head. Then everything else, here's the nail. They're hitting over there somewhere. It, to me, at least. Common Rider Drive. I, hmm. I'm going to go with A. Okay. I was stuck between A and B because just like with Black, it's got a slow beginning. Very episodic. Mock. He's a, bit, he's a bit of a pill to swallow, but he takes a chill pill at some point and gets a lot better. Usually when his dad comes in. Yeah. But, and I and yes, the female lead is treated as a trophy in some aspects. A lot of aspects. However, I still think, I still have faith in her as a person to if she had thought that way, she would have bitch slapped both of them and walked away. She is a strong female lead that we don't get a lot in Common Rider who takes on monsters herself, and I still adore that. Not to mention, love the suits. <laughs> and I will always appreciate Drive for the moment he was with the, the ninjas and uh, used the technic form to slaughter them. Although I will say, even tech, uh, even formula? Formula's okay. Is, is it top heavy? Absolutely, but there's not much you can do with a Formula One racing car as your theme. Anyway, Exit. Which is a show he's not finished. It, but like with Marcus, if I have to put it somewhere, I'm putting it in B. From what I have seen, which is m most of it, it's a very good show. My issues with it have a lot to do with the aesthetics. I don't like some of the forms. Some of the character choices that I don't agree with and their, form and their ideas of comedy that just don't hit for me. This is personal preference. But I think XA did a lot of things, had a lot of ideas that were done well, and I like the game aspect. I would like to see this revisited at some point. But I know it won't be. Fies. And I'm pretty sure that's actually a picture of his toy. It's Fies. It's Fies. D. Hmm. Below average. Makes me wish we had an F tier. Yeah, why don't we have an F tier? That's because no. Because now it's a place That's no. <laughs> Bad. Um, I'm going to put it in D. I didn't hate all of it. I didn't like a lot of it. But I like this. I, aesthetics are such a thing for me. Because if I don't like looking at you, I don't want to watch your show. Which is what my it, which I've said before is my issue with Ultraman. I'm still gonna watch that Netflix show though. Because that actually looks that actually looks decent. Mm. But I like the suit, I like the characters, I like the idea that other people can use the belt, even though it gets passed around like a two dollar whore. And let's like with Marcus, it gives mm. us a character that you absolutely fucking hate for all the right reasons. And it's just fun to watch him get what's coming to him. Come on, it's... Wow, my neck hurts. Um, Forze. Forze. This is where I differ from them. Y'all give it like a solid B usually. I'm going C. It's average. There are some issues that I have with it that just cannot be, you know, done. Or cannot be fixed with the good stuff it does. Because the good stuff happens too far and too few between. Though... I also I almost gave it a B because of this one incident where me and an old friend of mine did the Forza handshake in the McDonald's on Broad Street, and the lady at McDonald's saw us do it, and she's like, and she just started coming in, and she's like, y'all doing a handshake? I want to do a handshake, and started doing it with us, and Matt was so, and my friend was named Matt, he was so awkward about it. Of course he was. I know, but it was so hilarious to watch. <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> I, I, I just because I'm sorry. I just realized I never told you that story. No, you. That was like four I, years ago. I never heard this either. That was like four years ago. Well, I know where you're gonna put this one. Yep. Mm. It's an S tier show. It is an absolutely fantastic show that looks amazing. That is goes dark when it needs to. Goes funny when it do, when it when it wants to. Because I'm sorry, the episode two memes will forever be a thing of guy smiling. <laughs> and try, and trying to fit into his like uh, golf cart thing when he's in suit, I fucking love the suits. I love the fact that he's the the. I love how well executed the concept like fruit was done. Because you, the moment we heard fruit ninja, you and I were so like fuck. But the suits were done so well. Well, we heard the bird thing first, which they still kept in some of the designs. Yeah, but and then fruit came later. <laughs> but when we heard fruit was the theme. You and I were like, they can't make this look good. And then they did. And then they did. For the most part. For the most part. Pineapple. There's only, there, he only uses it a couple times, so. It's still not great. <laughs> Absolute trash. All right, Hibiki. This is a thing for me. Because I think this is one of the first times I ever got legitimately upset on this channel. It was when we reviewed Hibiki. Hmm. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Some people were very surprised that I could do that. <laughs> It's, it's, oh. Where would you put it? It's just so insulting. See. Okay. Which is growth for me. <laughs> Some people don't know. If I had done this list ten years ago, or not ten years ago, five years ago, this would have been absolute trash for me. It's just because of the severe amounts of disappointment that we ended up getting from that ending. <laughs> and the, <laughs> that opening song was still... I love it. Anyway. Ohio. This is... Help. Jay. Jay. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Marcus. When I know, see, Kabuto. That's I, one of the first ones that you watched. Yep, I adore Tendo Soji. I adore Kabuto's look. I adore Kagami. I adore Super Speed. <laughs> and for those who don't know, I have at least four different uh, Flash shirts and a Flash wallet. You get the idea. Um, so I adore Super Speed. However, this show is not there. There is no show. It is... It, it kind of... Around episode 30, it realized, fuck, we don't have a villain or a secondary writer. It did sort of like the opposite of Dino, but Dino didn't have anybody come in and write extra for it. This one had uh, the worst. So... So, like, the fact that... Also, the fact that this is one of my favorite secondary writers, and it took until, like, what, 36 for him to be introduced? Well, so the writer suit. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, in terms of the suit and everything. I fucking love Gatak's design. The fact that he's got cannons on his shoulders when he's, you know... Shoulder cannons. <laughs> and then when he casts off, they become swords. Mm. And he does a roundhouse kick as well. Flying roundhouse yeah, kick. Yeah, flying roundhouse kick. So we know neither of them do the traditional rider kick. Also, good to see him again in ZO. I'm giving this a C. Okay. It's average. Only because on aesthetics. And the, some of the fight scenes are fantastic. This is more of a show that I prefer to watch in mean, best of compilation. Yeah, especially that uh, his first clock up fight scene oh, God. over the bridge and or the clock up car or the one where he's fighting the guy in the baseball field in the rain. Oh, episode four. <laughs> so great. Kiva. Oh. I will not give this absolute trash. Mm. Okay. I love the suit designs. I'll tell you. I love the concepts. I liked the dad's plot. And I liked the idea of a dual plot. But it was all executed so poorly with such a weak main character. And come on, you had a fucking Joestar voice your belt. Mm -hmm. How it do you fuck this? Joestar yet. I don't give a shit. How do you fuck this? I'm just saying that he's a great voice actor, period. Because oh, yeah. he was also in Zuodri. You didn't see me bring that up. <laughs> Larry. Yeah. Larry the Gorilla. Anyway, I, I love how I recognize him just from him screaming in Spanish. Yeah. I am Dios mío! Oh! Oh, I don't know. Rest in peace. Oh, is he really? No. He's yeah. still alive? The older one? No. Old Joe Star? Yeah. I thought he was still alive. No, old Joe Star. He passed away last year. If so, sad. Moving on. Kuga. I mean, I can't put this anywhere else. It's true. I really can't. I can't. And everything I've said about this show, I just, I can't repeat myself. 
Go watch our Cougar review. Yeah, go, do that. Go watch my top whatever uh, commentary review or list. Go watch my top whatever Toku list. Cougar is so high up on all of them. Mm-hmm. O's. Hmm. I love this show. Hmm. Some people are going to say, this is where it deserved to be on all of your other lists. Bitch, where? I love this show. There, apparently. This show was a good balance of serious moments, comedic moments, with great memorable characters. And even when the bitch syndrome was at its peak. Oh, man, it did it peak. Birthday. It was brief. <laughs> so... And there are so many memes that came from this show. I love the suit design. I love the concept. I love the villains. I love all of this show. And it was also one of the only commentators, I think, to almost get me to tear up. For the next one, do V3 and that one. Yeah. Uh, I know, right? <laughs> like, we just really, like, it's episodic as hell, but we just enjoyed watching it. <laughs> but because it's episodic as hell, I'm still giving it a B. Mainly just because I really like plot. <laughs> I really like plot. I mean, we both do. Says I, the guy who would put Decker Ranger, in, I think, in S tier. I know, but that's because it worked for that show. But we put V3 basically in the same place just because it's legitimately a fun show to watch. Valid. This Black RX? Yes. Moving on. Black R trash. Ryuki. Ryuki. Mm. Even though he's not the main character of the show. It would be hilarious if they had Knight down there. We should have done that. <laughs> I mean, I didn't make this. <laughs> uh, but I'm just saying we, we should have just replaced this picture with a picture of Knight. Comrade Ryuki. Hmm? That was the main character. <laughs> but, B tier. I love the idea. I love the concept of Comrade War. I just didn't like the suits, really, and some of the characters were a bit hit and miss. I feel like if you're going to have this many characters, you should do what you can to either give enough attention to them to make them memorable, or don't have them at all. Don't have, don't give them characters. Just say, here's a common writer, go kill him. Don't give us a name if you're not going to give us a character, because in my opinion, it, if we're not going to remember him, I don't want to know his name. Does that make sense? What? I don't know. Because I feel like in this one, they gave everybody a character. But not enough of a character I would consider I would make, like, to consider them to be memorable. What would you consider enough of a character to be memorable? At the very least? Yeah. Um, the Rhino guy. I think he was like, I think he was like bare minimum. He I, was just there to mostly have a good time and just show how powerful he was. I don't know. I just... And then get his come up and... But, uh, moving on. Shin? C. I didn't really like, I didn't, it, it's not for me, but I, I, pre, I enjoy this experiment. Stronger. All right. Wizard. He's so pretty, though. Kira, Kira. He's so pretty, though. But he's so fucking bad. W. Oh, let me at least... Putting in an A. This is gonna piss some people off too. I mean, not as much as not as me. not as much as you. <laughs> fuck no. But Akiko is so fucking bad. A for Akiko. And you're right. And I will admit, I wish the last episode wasn't the last episode. If they had done that in like the team up movie, instead bringing him back and giving like a, they've done almost every time for Ankh. <laughs> yeah, that would have been something. But there was just too much good with this show. My favorite Kamen Rider bike, I think, in all of Kamen Rider. Yeah. I well, love... Second. Who's your first? Hibikis. Oh, you love yourself a chopper. I do. And Kivas. Yeah. They only drove it one. It's, um, but in terms of looks and uh, function, I'm giving it to W. I love me the sports bike, so him, like, Kabuto. Fuck. But W is one of my favorite riders. Some of my favorite characters, Akiko excluded. Like, way over there excluded. <laughs> I almost made a joke I shouldn't on the internet. Moving on. We have... Zeto and Zekros. I don't even remember. I don't... Yeah. There is not a problem with not remembering it. 
<laughs> Apparently, he's great in the manga, which we haven't read. I almost, I almost, I, I legitimately looked at him and almost went, "You missed one for having seen." He's that forgettable for me. But this is my. I also love how. Let me look over this real quick because I just yeah, no knows. I yeah, I'm gonna redo this because some of these are a no. That's a no. You know what? I'm kidding. It's your list. Do what you want. Yeah. 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 (laughs) All right. I think I'm good. All right. Okay, then. So. This is Matt's list. This is my list. And from what I from what little I've seen of Zio, I would put it like in the C range. But I'm not gonna even bother with it because I have not seen enough to make that call. But I would put this is my list, and just seeing this makes me feel so much better. <sighs> just seeing this. Ah. <laughs> Anywho. Let us know what you think of my list in the comments below and how it's better than Marcus's. <laughs> Give me your hatred. Subscribe if you haven't. Ring that notification bell. Follow us on all the things. And we will see you guys next time. I'm like the bad uh, Captain Planet on Captain Planet, but without the pollution. <laughs> Captain Pollution? I think that was his name. Yeah. All right. They pollute the internet. Next. Bye. It's like opposite Don Cheadle.